Hey guys, so today's video is about my 10 favorite picture books. So stay tuned for that. doing this in any particular order. It's just however I lined up in my pile is what is going to be the order of our video. So I'm going to go ahead and start. And the first one is Pizza Cat Books. Any Pizza Cat Books is our favorite picture books. So I kind of cheated a little bit. We love, um, we love the audio. Like I will put the CD in the back and stick it in the Xbox for a special treat. But, I mean, usually I just read it out loud to them, which they love. They love the predictability of it. We've listened to them so many times that they know the words pretty much. So, and another one that goes along with that is we're going on a bear hunt. We've read this so many times that I don't even need to look at the words anymore. It just, it's embedded into my brain. And this is one I have to put away after I read it once that week. I put it away because I cannot read it any more times. Once a week is my limit now. I mean, because I've read this book so many times. All right, number three is all these, um, uh, Amy Krauss Rosenthal books, like Little Hoot, Little Pea. I think there's like a little pig or something. And these are just the most adorable books in the world. Like, like this one, for example, is about a little owl, and he just wants to go to sleep. He just wants to go to sleep early, but his parents make him stay up all night because he's an owl. So, and then, and like little P, he just wants to eat his vegetables, and his parents just want him to eat candy. Ah! Another one is, number four, is our My First Little House books. These are just adorable. I mean, my girls love the little house. We have read the first two of the series, and we're going to read another one this year. And we, I like collecting these. I usually get them for Christmas. And just to add the picture of Mary, Laura, and Carrie, and the stories, and be able to see it. So, this one is a Christmas time. I have the other one I have is a little prairie house. So, yeah. That's as far as we've, as we've gotten. Another one is a library pick. Number five is She Persisted. It's about 13 American women who've changed the world. We are slowly going through this. We're almost done. But my girls like to learn about the women. I love showing them women who have changed the world. We're learning about Helen Keller now. So I also have Helen Keller picture books. So these are really just really nice of how women challenge the women's society, women's role in society. Blech, you can talk. So, that is definitely one I want to buy because I want to have that one. Number six is Ruby the Copycat by Peggy Rathman. My girls love this one and I loved it growing up and it's just about a girl who is copying the girl in front of her. She wants to dress like her. She goes home and changes her clothes during lunch and copies her. And then the girl starts to get upset with her and the teacher has to talk to her and really show her that she can be Ru Ruby. That's who she can be. So it's a really sweet story. So that's one that's a little worn because we read it so many times. Next up is Mother Bruce. And there are, I think there's one or two other ones. Hotel Bruce, we just have this one. And I love the illustrations in this one. It's so, I love the darkness and just how deep the illustrations are. They're just so pretty and it's so funny. So, such a funny story that, I mean, the girls just adore Bruce. And it's about a big bear who is like a gourmet, he likes gourmet foods. And so he gets these organic eggs from Mother Goose and they hatch on him. So, of course, they think he's the mama and he tries to chase him off and just a really cute story. Okay, number eight is Maple by Lori Nichols. I believe this is a series. I think there's two other ones that I really need to get because we love Maple. 
I love any book where the girl starts with an M because all my girls starts with M. So, and I love the illustrations in this one too. It's like a watercolor kind of. I'm not good with picking out the art, but it's just, it's really light. It's really simple. I love all the white space, which is a really contra big contrast to Mother Bruce because there's not a lot of white space in that. But this one is just adorable instead of a little girl and her maple tree. A ma her name is Maple and she has a maple tree and she gets a little sister. So, name Willow. This is definitely one of my favorites along with the girls. Number nine is a unicorn named Sparkle. It's about a little girl who wants a unicorn so she wins one or she buys one or she, yeah she buys one for 25 cents. She imagines this big majestic unicorn and get a little goat unicorn who <laughs> drives her crazy so she wants to send it back. And yeah, it's adorable. The illustrations, once again, I love, I'm a sucker for some good illustrations. I think those are key. And I like stories with work, just one or two sentences per page. You know, I don't need a huge paragraph um, and a huge read aloud for bedtime for my picture books. I mean, I have enough with that with our chapter books. So that is definitely a favorite of ours. And last is, do princesses wear hiking boots? This is really just a really simple book. We are a hiking family, we love to be outside. And this is just about a girl asking her mom, do princesses play in the dirt? Do princesses have to do their chores? Do they drink sparkling punch? Do they cry and make a fuss? And the mom's like, yeah, just like you do. So, yeah, this is definitely a favorite. We like reading this once or twice a week. Comment below with any of your favorite picture books. I love finding new ones to add into our rotation. So, yeah. Thanks. Bye.